Um, so my name is Joseph Santarelli. Uh, I'm a senior business development advisor in southwestern Ontario uh, for MyTax. Um, so we are a funding organization. Uh, we get money from both the federal and provincial governments. Uh, and my job is really to go find the people doing the coolest things uh, out there in Canada, look for the people who are doing the innovation, doing the research, uh, and connect them together. We're very good in Canada at training academics. Uh, we're not so good at getting the business to invest uh, in turning that into R&D. Um, I don't have to sell that to all the people in this room. You guys are the ones who are doing it, um, and that's why I'm here too. My job is to try to make that work. Um, so why do it? Um, so if you're an academic uh, in the room, um, we help with publications. Uh, we have uh, a funding stream that as the academic, you're not putting in any funds. Uh, you can apply your skills. Um, you can increase your HQP employability. Um, a lot of Dr. Pierce's students uh, end up on my tax grants, I believe, and uh, I see the work that the great work they're, do they're doing. You've seen it too today. We've funded a lot of the projects that you've been hearing about. Um, partner in industry, uh, so we de-risk. So we provide funding and we provide access to those universities and colleges um, there. So I can tell you today, if you have $25,000, there are ways that we can turn that into $100,000 of funding. So instead of researching one objective, you can now research four with the same amount of investment that you were going to do. Um, I am one of 120 people like me all across Canada. We know everybody in the research space. So if you're looking for the specific person who works on this specific issue, we are generally able to help find that person. Um, and if you are trying to hire in say an emerging industry like agrivoltaics, um, who is going to, who are you gonna work for? Who are those jobs if you can meet with a student, have the student work with you while they're doing their master's or PhD, you can then hire them and build your pipeline that way. So how it works, um, there's three people. You're probably one of them. There's the host or partner organization. There is the academic institution. And then the students are the bridge between that. We're a funding organization for high quality personnel. Um, and so most of our funding goes into that. So our partners, you can be uh, for-profits, not-for-profits, hospitals, municipalities. If you're incorporated in Canada, um, if you're international, we can also usually work with you as well. Um, if you are a student at Western, congratulations, you're eligible for my tax. Um, and we do all sectors and we do all disciplines. Uh, we fund everything from anthropology to zoology. Uh, and we are like Baskin Robbins in terms of uh, how we fund things. We have a flavor for pretty much anything you wanna do. Um, so I'm going to try and touch on a little bit about everything that I think is relevant for this group here. Um, but if you are looking to invest in R&D with an institution, I would suggest contacting me and we can help plan out what that funding might look like uh, with the researchers themselves. Interns also do not need to be identified at the time of application. So if you know the professor, but the professor doesn't have students right now, you can apply and then you can move into uh, getting your application approved while you find those interns. Um, so we have uh, over a 95% success rate with these programs. Uh, I have only had one project in my three and a half years ever not get funded, uh, and they were aware of it going through. That's partially because uh, unlike other granting applications, I'm the one who ends up submitting it. I'll review the application. I know what I'm looking for in terms of what's gonna get funded, what's not, and I can help you develop the project in a way that leads to success um, before you put in any work. Uh, I heard one person uh, at the clean tech conference that Western had say, as a business owner, it is really intensive for me to be writing grants all the time. Um, so having someone who knows the landscape and can give you the best bang for your buck, hopefully set something up longer term uh, helps and reducing that barrier um, on the, the industry side and also for the academic side. They'd rather be doing the research than writing the grants. Um, so Accelerate is our flagship program. Uh, so we have uh, a couple different funding models. Usually the partner puts in 50% of the cost. So the company's putting in 50%. Uh, we have HST involved, but there is an overhead. 
uh, on the university side. Um, for indigenous pathways, we put in 75%. Uh, if you have an indigenous owned organization or an indigenous intern working on the project. Um, we also do student entrepreneurs. So if you are coming out of a PhD or a postdoc, you're starting a company in agrivoltaics, there might be an opportunity to you to get paid to build your company um, using my tax and commercialize your research. And we do international. Um, so we are much more flexible with international partnerships um, than some other funding organizations. Um, these ones, there are asterisks everywhere. Um, so if you have an idea, I would suggest talking to me. Um, but we do have the opportunity to work with US-based companies and things like that, um, depending on how you set up that initial application. So very fun. Uh, I had someone call this our Black Friday discount. Um, but we have a specific uh, enhanced leveraging path for clean tech, agriculture, and agri-foods. Um, so pretty much everybody in this room would probably be eligible for this discount. Uh, so the enhanced leveraging is we put in uh, $2 in the funding uh, to every $1 you put in instead of the one-to-one -one funding. Um, so you put in 5,000, we put in 10 um, for every one of those projects. That is only available until February 9th. Um, so if you are, do you have something that comes to mind? It's probably better to talk to me earlier uh, than later, because um, we may be able to get you a little bit more uh, money coming in. Those interns do need to be named. Um, and if you're looking for an academic collaborator, I'm also uh, able to help support on that end. A little bit more on how these flow of funds work. So my tax uh, invoices the partner for the funds. So we take the money, we match it, and then we send it to the ac academic institution. They manage everything. Um, they manage the award. Uh, they pay the students out. They have project related costs um, that they pay. Uh, and then we invoice the partner again. Um, so we kind of do that on a term based cycle. And we can do that in either $10,000 blocks or $15,000 blocks. Um, so that's the smallest project. If you have $5,000, we can make something work. Uh, I do projects with a million dollar investment from the company. They're using hundreds of interns over five years. Um, we're able to manage that as well, all through this one um, kind of blocking grant uh, organization. It's kind of like Lego. You can build a small house. You can build a castle. Uh, we can build a grant to whatever you are specifically looking for. This is the most exciting one. Western has been great uh, partners with this, um, but we have MOUs with a lot of the other funding organizations you may have heard of. The first one um, that I'm going to uh, talk about, the one I'm gonna have on more, is the NSERC uh, Alliance. It's a NSERC Alliance Advantage now, um, and my tax funding. Um, the powerful thing between this is that you can apply for both of these projects together and you can access a kind of a global pool of funds. So you can put in your money as a company and you can get both the alliance match and you can get the uh, my tax match at the same time. So an example of this, my tax accelerate offers we pay half, you pay half, and circ alliance for every dollar you put in, they put in two dollars. We can take that 30 30,000, we can leverage it um, through both organizations, through this partnership by applying at the same time. Um, and it turns that $30,000 investment into $120,000 um, as a total project cost um, for you to do this. These ones are very complicated. There aren't that many people in Canada who know how to structure them as well as I do. Um, we, Western Engineering specifically, did 14% of all of these partnerships opportunities the year it came out. Um, we are very good uh, at Western at making this model work. Um, and we have a 100% success rate in getting these applications through peer review right now. So just for the interest of time, um, I'll kind of skip. But yes, so you will write both applications. Western will help with the Alliance side. Uh, we, I will help with the MyTax side. Um, we'll submit both of these simultaneously. Um, it'll go through the standard alliance process, uh, and then the project can start. 
Um, so if you're putting in less than $75,000 a year, um, within five to nine weeks, you can get a result for these kind of applications. Um, so trying to kind of uh, help with the speed of academia versus the speed of industry sometimes, um, these can get started relatively quickly. Um, so if you are an academic researcher or a student, our website has all of those opportunities that companies are looking for. You can apply directly on the site. Um, we have a postdoc program, which is very similar. We have a Global Link Research Award. So with this, uh, you can develop international partnerships. If you want to go to Germany, learn how they do it. Um, you can send a student for 12 to 24 weeks at zero cost to the researcher. Um, and they can go learn, bring that back to Canada, and then help the industry in the room here. Um, so that is uh, kind of the very fast overview of what my tax can offer. I um, would say if you are trying to develop academic institution um, partners, uh, I can help with that. I can link you to someone directly within institutions, um, things like uh, research agreements, things like IP agreements. I know everybody you need to talk to anyway at the university. Uh, so if you do send me an email and let me know, um, I can help you uh, get started on kind of solving these big problems uh, that we're talking about today. And hopefully if you want that framework, if someone's willing to put in 25%, uh, we might be able to make that happen. So thank you.